In many ways, I'm finished with this project. I have my answer. This grief does not end. It spirals endlessly, in constant motion, like the waves on the sea. Infinite, like space. Enormous, like our own spinning galaxy. We are living in a complete environmental collapse. We are participating in a global ecocide. And it matters not at all if I cry rivers of tears or wear black every day. If I still continue to participate in a culture determined to destroy our own green and living planet. Ultimately, I wanted to see if I could mourn this grief away, to wail, roar, and howl it out, so it could uncoil from its constrictor's position around my heart. But the truth is, this grief is bone deep. This sadness is cellular. It is written in the double helix of our DNA, passed from generation to generation, starting on the first day we turned our backs on our mother and forgot and lost our way. There is no moving on from this. Time does not heal this wound. Instead, we should wear proudly on our sleeves and in our hearts. This grief is what keeps us human. This sadness is what keeps us alive, eyes open, soft and loving like a child. If we forget this grief, push it away, put it to the side, we turn as monstrous as the rest of them. Zombies feeding off the living. Only happy when the living are dead. So hold the grief. Don't shy away. When it wells up so strong that your body shivers and your teeth chatter in your head, let it run through you like a freight train, lighting you up like the heat of a thousand suns. This grief does not paralyze. This grief was made to move. You, me, us, mountains, whole worlds. And as I write this, I am sure of it. I am finished with this project. My apologies to Will and Michelle, because I did not discuss this. If you just please feel free to continue if you want. I don't know what I will happen next. But I know I'm ready for the next step. My heart is more broken than ever. But somehow the breaking helps to heal it. Monarchs. Honeybees. Rhinos. Gorillas, elephants, frogs, fish, trees, plants, water, Will, Xander, Revel, Earth. I am so in love. My life is for you. I might continue to wear black, I might not. I might continue to write, I might not. It doesn't really matter either way. But one thing is for certain. Despite all the pain and suffering and sadness and grief in the world right now, we are still incredibly lucky to live living through this time. 
Why? Because we are the ones who get the chance to fight. And it is time. Hold on to what you love and don't let go. Thank you for listening. All these months to my ramblings, it has been the greatest gift. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. Natasha.